we're now going to look at how to plot the forecasted observation, the expected forecasted observation, with a 95% confidence interval. Again, we're going to use the example where total cholesterol at exam two is the outcome, and we're predicting it as a function of age, and we've included both a linear and quadratic term for age. The first thing we need to do to make this plot is to predict the expected values of these forecasted observations, which is the same thing we did when predicting a new mean. We just run predict y hat comma x beta. This is exactly the same as when you're predicting a mean. If you already have y hat defined in your data set and it corresponds to the regression you're interested in, then you don't need to rerun this command. What changes here is that we now need to get the standard errors of a new forecasted observation. So we want SE of y hat forecast. So I'm putting an F on the end for forecast, comma. So that's just the name of the standard error variable that I'm creating in my data set. What you put after the comma is what's really important. So if you want the standard error of a new forecast, you have to do STDF. STDF is what gives you the standard error of a new forecasted observation. Now we can just construct lower and upper bounds for our confidence intervals in the same way that we did for the predicting a mean. So my lower bound is simply equal to the expected value of the forecast minus the cutoff of the t-distribution for the 95% confidence interval times the standard error of the new forecast. I repeat this for upper bound, changing the minus sign to a plus sign and renaming the variable as upper. If I scroll down in my variables window, you'll see that I now have a variable for the linear prediction for the standard error of the forecast as well as for the lower and upper bound of my confidence intervals. So I can now go ahead and make a plot. I'm first going to sort my age-centered variable so that my line looks good when I make the graph. Going into the two-way graph menu, I create a new graph. I want a line graph. My y variable is, is y hat. X variable is age-centered and I repeat for the lower bound and upper bound. And recall that I made the lines dashed for the confidence intervals just to make my plot prettier. I'm also going to go ahead and overlay a scatter plot of the actual observations and I want my scatter plot to be the first layer so I moved it up. So now that we see for the forecasted observations, we still see this nonlinear trend, but a 95% confidence interval for the forecasted observations now includes most of our data. So this is the idea of forecasting. You have a lot wider confidence intervals, but the idea is that these forecasts actually include where most of the data is. So you can do a pretty good job of forecasting the uncertainty in a new observation.